Welcome to Campo Santo Monumentale, the monumental cemetery. Many claim this walled cemetery as one of the most beautiful in the world. After having visited it, it is hard to argue against such a claim. The locals also refer to this place as Campo Santo Vecchio, the old cemetery, as a way of differentiating it from the later established urban cemetery in Pisa. The Campo Santo has a very long and intriguing history. The cemetery is said to have been built around a shipload of sacred soil from Golgata, brought back to Pisa from the Fourth Crusade in the 12th century. As an inscription near the right gate tells us, the construction of the cemetery started in the year 1277 and finished in the late 15th century. The main architect was a man named Giovanni di Simone, the same architect who worked on the Leaning Tower during its later stages. The Camposanto quickly became the burial place of the peace and upper class and remained such for several centuries. The completion of the Camposanto also meant that the fourth and final structure in the cathedral square had been raised. With this, the Piazza di Miracoli we know today stood finished. The outer walls of the Campo Santo are composed of 43 blind arches with two doorways. You have probably noticed that the right entrance is crowned by a gracious tabernacle designed in typical Gothic architecture. It contains the Virgin Mary with child, surrounded by four saints. The piece originates from the second half of the 14th century and was constructed by a follower of Giovanni Pisano, the man who made the amazing cathedral pulpit. The cemetery has a total of three chapels. The oldest ones are the Chapel Amanati and the Chapel Aula. The last chapel is found in the middle, known as Dal Pozzo. The small dome you can see to the east belongs to this chapel, which also has a beautiful altar dedicated to St. Jerome. As you've probably seen, this is not like a normal cemetery, where the majority of the tombs and graves can be found in the courtyard. No, here most of the tombs are located under the arches and under the floor, though a few can be found on the central lawn. The Campo Santo is not all graves and tombs, but it's also filled with other funerary monuments. Here you can find several Roman sculptures and sarcophagi, most from the third century. The Roman sculptures were mostly brought to the Campo Santo for decoration purposes in the early 14th century. Together with the Roman sarcophagi, these ancient artworks formed one of the most important collections of classic art in Europe. What this cemetery is perhaps even more known for is its many outstanding frescoes, its wall paintings. The first painting was applied as early as 1360 and many more have been added along the years. The last one was applied almost 300 years later in mid 15th century. Perhaps the most famous one is The Triumph of Death by Bonomico Ufalmaco. Tragically, many of these frescoes have been destroyed or damaged. In 1944, during the Second World War, incendiary bombs dropped during an Allied air raid set the roof on fire. The burning wood rafters forced the lead on the roof to melt. The molten lead caused severe damage to everything inside the cemetery, destroying most of the sculptures and sarcophagi, as well as most of the frescoes. After World War II ended, a massive restoration project began. The roof was restored to as close as possible to its pre-war appearance, and the frescoes were separated from the walls to be restored. Once the frescoes had been removed, the preliminary drawings, called sinopi, were also removed. These underdrawings are now displayed in the museum of the sinopi, on the opposite side of the square. 
One thing that surprises many that visit the Camposanto is that there is a large rusty chain hanging next to the beautiful frescoes. This chain is actually an old chain from the Pisa port, taken by the Genoese and later returned to Pisa in 1860.